Audition CS6 lets you work with dozens of professional file formats, including those critical to broadcast and video production workflows, such as MP2, MPEG-1, Layer 2. You can import now and play HD video in a variety of, of frame rates, including 23976, 302997, non-drop and drop frame, 2524, 5994, uh, and other useful formats are now accessible, including LibSound file, Monkey's Audio for import and export, and FLV, Shockwave, and RED R3D for import. We also have options now for burning individual files to CD as well as Red Book CD format, all in the box. So no more little videos when you're starting to edit inside Adobe Audition. What we're going to look at is import and export options directly within the application. So let's go have a look. So you can export in two different areas. This is the waveform. In a second, I'll show you uh, exporting out in multi-track. So if I go to File, Export, File, just an easy way to see this is if I go to where it says Formats, and I pop this up and we have a look. Of course, AIFF, as I mentioned, Monkey's Audio, LibSound File with all of those different extensions, uh, FLAC, AUG, MP2, MP3, QuickTime, Wave PC. So each one of these, when you get down to the bottom, you can change the format settings. So clicking here changes the format settings for that specific file. So there's several different areas you need to just look in and tweak, but bottom line is you're going to have all of those covered. Now let's talk about exporting out multi-track files. This is a huge important part. Yes, sometimes I want to export out a finished, mixed, stereo, mono, or 5.1. But a lot of times, as an audio guy, I want all the stems. I want each individual track exported out. So we can do that very easily. Let me just close this up and go to a multi-track session. Now when I go to File, Export, Multi-Track Mix Down, of course, I could have a selected area. So if you don't want to output the uh, entire file, you could have a selected area. But I'm going to show you the entire session. And I also want you to notice, I'm just going to move this and show you in my multi-track section, I already have um, not just regular track files, but I have submixes inside there too. Because sometimes you want to have uh, the individual stems and then a submix in here and a submix there, each with different effects uh, all ready to go. Okay, so this is our new expanded dialog box for exporting out. Of course, we can choose all of the different formats for exporting the sample types inside here, which we can change. Normally it says same as source, but we can go and change that. And we give you a whole bunch of customizations right in the box. So if you're looking to go, for instance, convert to 24-bit or 16-bit or resample at different uh, hertz. So if you want to go to 44, uh, 1K out to video, we've got those in the box. And of course, you can make and save your own. So if you're always going out to something specific, you can save that. But the really cool part is down here at the bottom, mix down options. This is the one that I've been missing. Click the change button and let's open this dialog box up and look. Not only do we get the mono stereo 5.1, each one of our tracks, and of course we've got this button up here so I could quickly select all my stems, not my masters, and however many buses I want out. Holy smokes. Now we could do this in 5.5, but we'd have to go to Premiere Pro uh, output to get those different stems. Um, a better and more efficient workflow now in Audition CS6 is this, directly out. Okay, let me just get rid of that, cancel that out. And I do want to show you the import dialog box. So if we go to File Import, again, if I go to All Supported Formats, click in here. Look at this giant dialog box opens up with, again, many of the same formats that I talked about. Also, XML from Premiere Pro. So remember, if you're new to Adobe Audition uh, and our workflows, you can go directly from Premiere Pro right to Audition, including all of the multi-track options. So every single track you have in Premiere Pro will show up over here in Adobe Audition. Okay, some of the other formats, as I mentioned, AIF, uh, older Audition formats uh, out to XML. Remember, we're bringing these in and importing them. Um, FLV files, Monkey's Audio, 
uh, red R3D files. So as I mentioned, the importing of HD video is now really important because we want to look at the clarity and quality of those beautiful high resolution uh, images that we've shot when we're mixing all of our audio. So for production and efficiency, Adobe Audition 6 now has everything you want for import and export.